So I posted a file called Design Center AutoCAD Black. And um, it's just really a collection of the three different files that were in the Design Center. For those of you who are having a hard time finding the Design Center because maybe you have a Mac or you'd like to have all these in one spot, you should create and start to organize, you know, your own your own block file as, as well. So there are a couple of ways you can do this. You can open up that floor plan that we've been working with, and yours doesn't have to look exactly like mine, or whatever file that you're you're using, and then insert the entire file into this file. It'll bring all those blocks in. Um, I'll show you a second way as well. So if you go to insert, you'll have to go down to blocks from libraries because you probably won't have these blocks already inside like I talked about in the blocks um, module. I'm going to pick blocks from library. You may get a dialog box, but if you don't, down here, you have to find um, here in either this drop down or over here this this icon that is um, browse blocks uh, browse block libraries right here. So I went in this drop down right here and I picked browse block libraries. So now you can navigate over to where you downloaded or put that file uh, Design Center AutoCAD block that I sent you and um, and double click on it. Give it a minute and um, it shows up in this palette over here. So because it's in the palette, it's in your file, you have this choice of either bringing the whole thing in right here or as long as you have this palette, because some of you are using Macs, I'm not sure that you have this this setup. It might already be at the end of your crosshairs. Then you would just click to insert it. You may have to watch your command line because it might insert it automatically, but you may have to press enter three or four times to bypass the questions that are being asked in the command line. If you have this this um blocks palette you can um hold your left mouse button down on this chair and drag it out or you can bring the whole thing as like i said there it is the whole thing stuck it up there and um my situation my my release of autocad um not a mac PC, I, did, I wasn't asked a bunch of questions in the command line. I just brought it in. All right. So once you go through that, you'll you'll definitely be able to see that all of your blocks are inside this file now. So you have a choice of bringing each one out or or the whole thing. So the other choice I'm going to show you now is to have these two files, just these two files open. I'm going to get rid of this. If you just have the um, the blocks file open or whatever file and then your drawing file, you can go to the view tab up the top and tile vertically. If you pick tile vertically here at the top, at the far right, um, you can now minimize any other files that you have open or that startup dialog box and pick tile vertically again. But now I have the two files open side by side, and there are a lot of choices here, guys. Um, so you can select the block that's in this other file, hold your left mouse button down on the block and drag it over and let go and you've you've kind of dragged and dropped 
one file into another. Or um, you can copy paste, but be careful with that because um, you're creating blocks that have no name on them. Uh, you can also select your block. You can select your block and then hold your right mouse button down anywhere and drag that over and let go. You'll have a dialog box that asks you if you want to copy it, paste it as a block, or you can even paste it to the original coordinates. So I'm just going to pick copy here. And there it is. Okay, so quick video to show you, especially if you have a Mac, how you might use blocks to bring objects from one file to another. Okay, keep in touch if you have any questions. Hope this helps.